Money.net presents Poker Tonight. Coming up, Isildur1 accepts Tony G's offer to stake him in a live game, but will he show up in a mask? Fresh offer feature in Maxim UK, we continue our Girls of Poker with Liv Bourri. He owns the LA Lakers but spends more time in card rooms now. We speak to Dr. Jerry Buss and UFC ring announcer Bruce Buffer joins us in studio and goes on the clock. Plus, Dana Workman breaks down the latest poker buzz with P2N Online. All that coming up on Poker Tonight. Thank you for joining us on Poker Tonight. I'm Scott Huff. Alongside me is Joe Seabock. A very big show coming up tonight. We have UFC ring announcer Bruce Buffer coming on the show a little bit later. Joe, probably a very little known fact because I'm the only one who cares, but Bruce Buffer once gave me a brutal bad beat in an online tournament where he was a celebrity playing in the event. So I'm going to have a little chat with him about that later on. Yeah, I kind of remember that, actually. So if he doesn't respond to you, I feel like maybe he might respond to me. Uh, I think he'd probably respond to Dana more than he'd respond to you. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's go to Dana Workman to see what's happening on the rest of the show. Dana? Well, everybody responds to me. No surprise there. Lots of chatter this week about Prahlad Friedman breaking Steve Nash's free throw record. So we'll cover that. Plus, get your reader mailbag questions later in the show with P2N Online. Thanks, Dana. Now, last week we had Tony G on the show, and he discussed his invitation to stake Isildur 1 in live cash games. Since then, the mystery Swede, believed to be Victor Blom, has accepted Tony G's invitation. Isildur 1 will be making his first TV appearance, possibly wearing a mask, in London at the Party Poker Big Game Live. And that is obviously not Isildur 1. Allegedly. Allegedly, Huff. Although my money is on him being the Hamburglar. Well, anyway, you slice it, this is big news for poker and, and pretty exciting. But are you feeling like it's going to live up to the hype here? And are you excited to see Isildur 1 play live for the first time? Really? Really? We're talking about a guy playing in a mask. Is this really what we're <laughs> discussing right now? He's going to come over from Sweden, allegedly from Sweden. Under 21, allegedly, again. <laughs> I think it is going to live up to the hype. It's fun. It's exciting. It gets people energized. Should he play in a mask? Uh, I don't know if he should play in a mask. And truthfully, I think they're going to figure it out anyway. So what's the point? But the whole story gets people fired up, and that's a good thing. Well, it's a bit of a controlled environment, 200 and 400 blinds, not as high as they play online. I would like to see, for my money, him play against Tom Dwan. I mean, last year at the end of 2009, Dwan loses $5 million oh. to him, but then somehow in 2010 is now up another $4 million after getting back his losses. Now that would be great television for sure. It would be sure. incredible, the fireworks. In other televised poker news, Poker Stars has announced their own high-stakes big game show, inventingly called Big Game. The show will be a 200-400 no-limit hold'em cash game with a $100,000 buy-in and will air on Fox. Now, Joe, are we nearing a saturation point now for televised poker? We had the glory days a few years back. Now it seems like you can't change the dial sure. without seeing another poker show coming out. Well, we are nearing the saturation point for bad poker television, and that to me is really the key. Is this going to be a good show? And I think that the answer is yes. The bottom line is that people want to see good poker on television, and if that's something that gets created, people are going to flock to it. People don't want to see Boston versus New York or any other nonsense, Burger King versus McDonald's, <laughs> poker games. That's not what we want, but I think that this is going to be good. It's going to be good for the game, and people are going to get behind it. All right, moving on. Friend of the show, Brian Devonshire, won the latest WSOP circuit event at the Rincon Casino in San Diego. The event attracted a whopping field of 70, and Devo collected 114975 for the win. WSOP bracelet winner Dan Schreiber finished second for 72270 and 2004 WSOP main event final tableist Mike McLean finished sixth for 19710 Now, Joe, we've talked about this before on the show, and just a few years ago, this same tournament had 181 players when Peter Nordberg Feldman won it. Do you think the WSOP maybe is tarnishing their brand a little bit at this point by continuing to run these events, holding these second-tier events, and not getting the big fields they once had? Sure. Well, I don't think they're tarnishing their brand at all because, in truth, I don't really equate these with the World Series of Poker. I understand that they're circuit events, but I don't think anyone thinks of them in that same light. We think of the World Series of Poker, we think of going to Las Vegas, playing at the Rio, even a little bit going to London, obviously with the WSOPE, but these are a totally different animal to me. So I, I don't want to say that they shouldn't hold them, let's just understand what they are and let them sort of hold that place in the poker universe. Maybe the minor leagues somewhat. Exactly. That's a great analogy. Also of note, LA Lakers owner Jerry Buss, who we profile later in the show, won a $200 horse event during the Raincon series. Well done, Dr. Buss. Finally, here's a look at the online Sunday major tournaments. The Poker Stars Sunday Million was taken down by Ace Chip Chase, who banked over a quarter million dollars for the victory. He defeated a field of over 9,700 for the win. 
Rubber Band Man finished second for just over 198,000. Full Tilt 750K guarantee was captured by 007 Pag Man. He grabbed over 138,000 for his win. Red Pro Adam Schoenfeld final tabled, finishing eighth for just over 14,000. And in the UB 200K guarantee, Hugo <laughs> Hugo Lemaire bested a field of 851 to bank $45,700. UB Pro Adam Ruthless Levy finished third for 18500 When we come back, we paid a visit to L.A. Lakers owner and poker enthusiast Dr. Jerry Buss's California home. And later in the show, we feature our current girl of poker, Liv Worry. All coming up on Poker Tonight. <laughs> 